die card. This is where the first Psychonauts met. And this must be the Astral Lane. Well, I'll just turn this thing on then. Well, those are thick and thorny. I'm gonna need a little help here. I'm not touching that thing again until I get rid of the bees and vines. I'll take that card. This is where they sat. This card lying around. Psychar. Well, if it isn't my favorite customer. Tell you are an intern, staff member, visitor, or intruder of great taste. You bought that now. I was just about to raise the price. Ta ta. I don't think I need any more gadgets right now. Good, because I would never trust one to someone so young, of course. all the exotic animals. This must be where Compton kept his menagerie. I don't have a key.
Got a side card. I'll take that card. What's a psycho isolation chamber doing out here? ever psycho-isolation chamber, created as therapy later used to punish kids at summer camps. You'll need to tune up and a car wash. And actually, it smells like there's a skunk family living in there, so never mind. The fuel mobile needs a tune up and a car wash. And actually, it smells like there's a skunk family living in there, so never mind. Yep. Can't leave this card lying around. Your helmet's head must be cold. Love me. Oh. Yep. Hmm. There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. Oh. Sweet, sticky babies. Look at that. Is that honey? How big are the bees around? if it isn't my favorite customer.
I'll admit, the main appeal of that one is looks. out of a sticky situation. Ooh, I should get some of those too. My mental energy has been lagging a little. Psypops will keep you in the fight. No refunds. Wrong bees. Smoke get in your eyes. Yeah, yeah bees. Smoke this. <laughs> Victory over bees. What's wrong, you big bees? Can't take. sticks conveniently to your face while you're talking.
Hello? You! Green Needle Witch! You don't exist! You're just something someone put into my mind. Which means... There's probably a very powerful psychic nearby. Another hallucination! A very... solid hallucination! Oh man, are you gonna cast a spell or something? Who are you? How did you get in here? And where was our security, eh? Cassiopeia? Author of Mind Swarm? Ford Cruller brought me through security. Ford? Ford Cruller? Came back? Oh, I knew it! I knew he would. But I'm not ready. I've been trying to fix this place up for him, but don't you know these bees are so demanding? Ford wants me to turn on the astrolathe, but it's covered in, well, really angry bees. Know anything about that? Oh, I think I can help you with that. I'm just happy to be useful again. Get out of my way. Ford needs me. Oh, I can tend to the queen later. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. She says I can't talk to you anymore. Wait! Cassie! Who's she? Buzz, buzz yourself, bees. Hmm, there's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. <laughs> Stay calm, they say, and the bees won't bother you. Yeah, right. Those are some angry bees. Cassie? Shh, they'll hear you. Cassie, would you sign my copy of Mind Swarm? I was wondering when you were going to ask. What took you so long? Thanks, Cassie. What's up with these strange bee things? I've lost control of the bees. They're keeping me like a prisoner here. I'm going to help get you out of here, Cassie. Shh. Thanks. What are you doing out here by yourself? Why don't you work out of the mother load? with the rest of the Psychonauts. Oh, I never could adapt to the whole new Psychonauts thing. I like to stay out here and remember the old days. Also, I want to take care of it as best I can, in case Ford and the others ever come back. So, are you the Green Needle Witch? What? Why would you say such a thing? Because you're so pointy. Those are pine needles. They stick to the honey on my suit. I can't help it. Because you lurk through the woods in the dark. I do my beekeeping at night because this darn bee suit is so hot. Because you're so tall. Okay, well, I do wear lifts in this thing so I can reach the upper hives, but what beekeeper doesn't do that? No reason. Well, I'll admit, I have been playing into the legend a little bit. Why? I need to keep people away from here to protect it. This is a sacred place. Would you mind if I snuck a peek inside your mind? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went away.
Hello? Cassie? Bees? I know why you're here. Now, to whom shall I dedicate this inscription? Not that many people find their way in here these days. You must have a good head on your shoulders. Uh, definitely a big one. Now, just imagine what you could do if you were using 175% of your brain. Actually, Cassie, I need your help with something else. We're on a critical mission, but there's a swarm of bees that's making it impossible. Stop right there, young man. Nothing is impossible. If you follow the 25 simple steps I've outlined in my book. Now then, let's go show these bees what we can do when we put our minds together. There's that pesky little volume. Thank you, young man. I have been looking for this silly book forever. Wait, she was going to help me. What? This one? <laughs> oh, I'll admit the author was helpful once, when we needed the money to leave the country, but that was a long time ago. But when the chips were down and we needed to fight to protect our friends? Ah, worthless. Is there another Cassie book in there that could help me? They are all restricted. Hmm. Then again, maybe I could help you. If you were to help me. There are two other books missing from my collection. Dangerous books. These are the books that got us into this horrible situation. These are the wrong books, you understand? Round them up for me. Take them out of circulation. They are overdue. Understand? Then you'll help me with the bees? I'll help you with the whole alphabet, Sonny. find these books. I'm her favorite assistant and best assistant and I already looked so give it up.
There's some emotional baggage nearby.
Hello? Shh. Lower your voice, please. Where should I look for the missing books? Maybe you should start at the beginning. Have you tried the children's corner? What books am I looking for exactly? One is supposed to be a teacher's edition textbook, but I doubt there are any valuable lessons in there. The other is a lurid crime story. Ugh, terrible books. The sooner we get them in isolation, the better. Can I talk to that nice writer, Cassie, again? You don't want to talk to her. She seems harmless, but she's full of dangerous ideas about human potential. Why do you want to round up these books? Because I'm the only one around here who cares about safety. I care. Great. The other Cassies had their chance to run things, and everybody got hurt. How did everybody get hurt? We all went to fight Melissa. And guess which motivational speaker thought she could talk sense into that monster? Ridiculous! It just made her mad, made things worse. So now, I'm in charge, and I keep all the books in order. All the important books. No offense, but I think you're running too tight a ship here. You can't keep people prisoner. Better to lock up a few books than have the entire library destroyed. What books am I looking for exactly? One is supposed to be a teacher's edition textbook, but I doubt there are any valuable lessons in there. The other is a lurid crime story. Ugh, terrible books. The sooner we get them in isolation, the better. I gotta run. No running in the library. This librarian aspect of Cassie's mind seems to have her whole psyche on lockdown. Until I figure out a plan, I'll play along with her scheme to avoid suspicion. Open up. I'll let you in there when you bring me back all of the bad books. I promise. You're not a child. No. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Sensors know when something's wrong. Kill the thoughts that don't go wrong. Seriously? on noble missions. Ooh, I'm on a noble mission. Can you help me? Sorry, already gave my sword to a handsome knight fighting a dragon. Having fun? Getting pretty. 
pretty sore, actually. This thing doesn't even have a saddle. Hey, have you seen any runaway books? Uh, sorry. Smarts ain't my thing. Hi. Memento Mori. Okay. Slop, and I don't think I can fit through it. being in this book. Thank you. 